hi okay so welcome back to my channel it has been such a long time oh my god what is this one piece of hair bro anyways it has been such a long long time since i've literally filmed i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry but i decided like for a hot minute i've been wanting to do like a make a video like a chatty sit down like let's talk about things while we do some makeup also somebody just commented on one of my vlogs that they wanted to see like a long extended make video hold on let me drink some water a little parch out here <sighs> oh my god so also i realized this is the perfect time to deliver a handy dandy makeup video just cause one it's summer i feel like i've really accomplished my makeup like summer make video what i've accomplished my summer makeup usually this is what it looks like you know it's what it's giving it's very like pinky very purplish and the only reason why it's like that is because I've been so inspired by Arsima. I forgot her last name, but she plays in Queen Charlotte. She plays, um, hold up. She plays Lady Danbury. That's who she plays. And she, like, if you saw, like, their press tour, she always has, like, this, like, purple pink blush combo going on. And I'm in love. I think I'm gonna clip up my hair. Maybe do this. Yeah, let's do that. And it's my first time getting red nails, and I don't know how to feel about it. Like, ooh, it's so, ooh, it's so different because I usually get like wine red nails. That's like my signature color, wine red or like pale, pale, pale pink, like almost white pink. And if you look at my vlogs, that's literally the colors that you only see. This though, like, I don't know. It's given. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. But I just brought the e.l.f. primer. Yeah, the e.l.f. power grip primer for the first time. And we'll see, we'll see. Eek! And if I'm looking over here, my mirror is right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Honestly, the whole thing about my sun makeup is I don't really wear foundation just because one, I know I'm gonna be hot, I know I'm gonna sweat. And in New York, the summer, it just gets very, like, humid. Okay, this feels very, like, tacky, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna rub it in. Okay, so we have so far, and now what I like to do is First, we're gonna start with eyebrow. I'm sorry. Tried and true! She just gets me, okay? She gets it. But I've also been using the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. And I like it, she's cute, she's alive. But this, ah! Your brow's gonna be to your face the whole day. So, I use this Anastasia. Beverly Hills, you know, demo thingy. You guys already know. We're just gonna take a bit, take a bit, like yay much. Okay, we're going to brush up. Essentially, you're just gonna make sure that the glue is throughout your brows. Yes, yes, yes. And that's when you start like shaping it. Then you take the flat part and just push it up. And you're gonna leave it, but I'm gonna come back to it just so that when it starts to get like a little dry and tacky, that's when you can like really fully get into it. And then at the like the edge right here, you're just gonna you're just gonna make sure that it's a little smooth, like going down. And I don't know if you can see, but it just creates a nice little smoothness. And then we're gonna clean it with concealer after. Oh, 
Okay. And then these are the brows. I always recommend getting like micellar water with Q-tip just to clean up the glue just so that when you put the concealer it doesn't like start to like crumble and shit. Don't you try to kiss me. No, you miss me. Okay. Now we're going with uh, the say Sun Glow Super Gel. I guess this is like my version of the primer. I don't know if this is a primer though. Nevertheless, you know, summer, you gotta, you gotta glow, you gotta shine. You know what I mean? And then we go through. And next we're going in with concealer. I've been really loving the Lancome Tons Edud Ultra Wear Concealer and Mine is in the color Sue, Sue W, like S U E W. And then I'm gonna go in with Kosas, of course, in 8.2 to like brighten it because this is a bit lighter. This one's like my perfect, perfect match. I was low key scared because if anybody, anyone who knows anything about Lancome is that they don't really be having a lot of shades for black girls. So. I don't know. And I just love the um, wand of this. Like I like how wide, I like how wide the wand is. Like it's cute. Okay, now we're gonna go with the corners. And then go up. And honestly, in terms of like my everyday summer makeup, I try not to like pack in a lot of concealer, but just enough that I don't look very tired. And go up. Lately, I have been journaling constantly. I'm still gonna use the same Lancome concealer, by the way, but I've been journaling constantly. And one of the topics that I've come to, because I recently picked up All That Love by Bell Hooks. Oh my god. I wanna tell you, you should be reading, reading the fuck out of me. I'm just like, oh my god. Uh, I'm on the second chapter where she basically talks about how abuse and love cannot coexist. Like where there's abuse, there cannot be love. And it made me think a lot about like, like dysfunctional families, you know, and how like sometimes, let's say you have abusive parents and there's a lot of people who talk about how, although their parents were abusive to them, there's a part of them that loved their parents or that still loves their parents and I don't know, like, if she's saying that, what does that mean for God? You know what I mean? Like, is it, like, conditional love? But I guess the way that I took it was that unconditional, like, full, 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 unconditional love really cannot exist where abuse is because you can't really hurt someone that you truly love. Like, you can't hurt someone intentionally that you truly love. And... I don't know. I've been pondering on, on that little statement that she put there. The thing with Bell Hooks is when I read her books, I need to read one chapter per day just because sometimes it becomes a lot because of how much she be spitting out here. And I'm just like, oh my god, I never thought of it that way. Also, in terms of the topic of love, I've been journaling because I feel like a lot of the times in the society that we live in, people are always focused on you know having a person like in a romantic relationship they're always focused on you know being with somebody yada 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 and when when you're single they make it seem like it's like the craziest thing or like the weirdest thing or like they'll be like oh like but you're so pretty how are you single um <laughs> have we ever considered that maybe i just want to be single like, I truly am not looking to be in a relationship with anybody right now. But also at the same time, like, I'm not actively looking, you know what I mean? Um, I have always said this, and I still say this to this day. People think I'm fucking joking when I say this shit. I always tell people that, I, like, I'm a pretty, pretty princess. Like, in my head, when I think of my inner child, like, when I was 
when I think of like what my inner child would look like. My inner child, I kid you not, is wearing a princess dress with a tiara and a scepter. She's a pretty, pretty princess. Like, are you dumb? And I believe like pretty, prince, pretty, pretty princesses, they get whatever they want. Like, if they want something, it's gonna happen. It's fine. So why should I stress about it? Or why should I like ponder on it? And I realize that I am very much the oblivious person. If you like me, giving me signs or whatever i don't pick that shit up like i'm so slow in that way like i really don't really be knowing or sometimes i'll like speculate but i don't want to be like too overconfident and be like oh they probably like me when in reality they they probably don't so i'd say that if you like me come to me direct don't cut through the corners all right like do you see the difference now Ooh, she's clean. And what I've been doing with my brows is, honestly, sometimes I'll fill her in, but sometimes I won't. But for today, I'm gonna fill her in just like a tiny bit, just cause I really like the natural look of my brows right now because I've grown them, look at them. She's growing, she's growing. So you're just gonna brush through. Just like in little sparse lines. Right. And honestly, if you ever feel like it's too much product you could just get a spoolie and like brush it through but in terms of love like i just believe that i was never meant to like you know how like some people get into like multiple relationships before they like find their person which that is okay you know what i mean like if that happens to you that's not like a bad thing everybody has like a different path but i feel like because of just my life circumstances or whatever I'm not meant to do that like if you really think about it let's get into astrology a little just a tiny bit tiny bit I know some of you people don't believe in astrology that's your business whatever but just a tiny bit I am a triple Scorpio I am a Scorpio moon Scorpio Venus and Scorpio Mars I literally like I get so obsessed with people low-key 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 not like stalker but like low-key i'm not gonna lie like if i like you i am thinking about our future together 10 years from now 15 years from now <laughs> do i sound like a crazy person no but like i literally am envisioning whatever i'm thinking like oh my god what is this person like what is da -da -da -da? and then if we like the same thing i'm just like ah oh, it's meant to be so I just feel like I'm not meant to be multiple like relationships. I'm just meant to be fine that person once and be with that person like forever. <laughs> Get you a little flat brush. I just want you to see the difference too. Look at my eyes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I brush it up, just look at how it just blends into my skin. Like I want you to see how it blends into my skin. Like look, look. Ah! It's giving like ultra skin. Like look at it. You can't even see the concealer anymore. She's my skin. It's my skin. But yeah, back to love. I think that there's love in everything. You know, I think that love is such a wonderful, magical thing, but it's also quite a scary thing. We're gonna go as close this, brighten it up. But yeah, it's it's such a scary thing, and I think that because of like media and TV and whatever, it makes people believe that the most important type of love is simply romantic love. When in reality, I feel like for me, the most important love is platonic relationships. Like my friendships are so important for me, and I care more about that than being in a romantic relationship because i feel like in a romantic relationship sometimes you can like idolize a person whereas in friendships it's like through thin and what's it thick and thin and friendships are so hard to navigate as an adult like, i just realized that and that realization just broke my heart say beauty i've been using the say beauty sun melt in deep bronze for a half minute, it's like two months. 
and I brought their brush to come with it because the brush is just so cute like she's a vibe so we're gonna brush so you're gonna go like this and literally like we're almost like underneath your cheekbone you're gonna brush up you see that you see that mm. and you're gonna brush up because when you do it underneath your cheekbone and then you put the blush in it's gonna make the blush just pop even more trust the process underneath your chin then you're gonna get a forehead now i know a lot of people are gonna be asking what about my nose contour don't worry i got you i got you i don't really use this for nose contour not gonna lie just because i feel like it's just so perfect for like the cheeks that i don't know I just never really gave this do it for nose contour now we're gonna take this flat brush and get you some espresso Fenty's matchstick and you just dab it in there right right and then you s i always start from like the bridge of my nose and then go down i want to get into like the succession gang or whatever but i haven't had time not gonna lie like i've been watching um i don't know if you guys watch k dramas but i really like k, k dramas i'm sorry they're just ah, so good the base is giving skin, isn't it? Yeah. That's the point. That's the that's the point. <laughs> I'm so excited. So my blush combo, literally, I get you a good little pink blush. I know. I feel like in one of these videos, I don't know if it was in this channel or um, TikTok. I was talking about how like I don't really use this blush as much as I should. Like sometimes I got scared of using pink blush, but oh my god, she's cute. It's this blush is Lucky from Miss Rare Beauty. Had her for God knows how long. We'll probably have her when I'm like seventy or something. Okay, so I've been placing my blush a little higher this time, just because I've been really inspired by like '80s blush placements. They're just so cute. But you're just gonna blend her in i'm gonna add more though so don't worry but just look look at it do you see it and then put some on your nose i just realized i blended in my concealer before my blush Okay, you guys, I usually blend in my concealer after putting blush, so don't do what I did. I'm also going to add a little bit of red. Just a little bit of red. This one is in Grateful. It's like my most used blush. Right there. Oh, ham. Okay. Did you guys hear about, like, Dwarf Avenue? Dwarf Avenue is having like a pop-up event in August in New York. I'm so excited. I definitely gonna go. Like, are you crazy? I like Matilda Dwarf's like style. I think it's because she has a similar body type to me. And it's easier to like visualize outfits on people who have similar body types as me. I have splurged a little bit, like it's not a bit on the Givenchy Ism Leave um, Leave Setting Powder and Fonette Epice. She is a, uh, she's not a, she's also, um, this is a, a setting powder, but it's also a, um, what do you call it? It's also a finishing powder, that's what I meant to say. Even though she has multiple colors, trust you guys, she gets the design. Shake it up. And I'll just knock it in here. Right? So we have like this like type of consistency. And then you get you a little triangle thing. And you're going to mix it up. Just so that we can get all of the colors. Because the colors is basically 
color correcting on your face, which is so cool. And I like to just dab some on the back of my hand, actually. Press it in, press it in, press it in. Do you see the difference? Like, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Like, if I don't convince you to buy anything else, I need you to buy this. I need you to get this. I need this in your little makeup bags, y'all, because look. And because there's like a little bit of pink powder in there, it meshes well with the um, pink blush. Look at it. Whoa. I'm telling you guys. There's anything I would you you would take away from this video today is that you need this you need it she is $59 but she's so good like I really wanted to hate it but this powder is so godly like why are you this nice and obviously press some on your forehead like the remainder I remember somebody was like we can tell when you don't have makeup on your forehead and I said what 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 are you talking about but i can see what they're talking about it's like a glare like there's like a you know how here it's like very smooth subtle whatever but usually there's like a glare like there's no powder on my nose but look at that glare that's what they're talking about that's how we can tell now you know the secret now you know the secret i look so funny but trust the process Era. I feel like I've always been in my African Aussie era when it came to like using cud. Black liner on the water lines, it just it spices shit up. Like I don't know, every time I would do my eyeliner without doing black liner, I feel so naked. So we're just gonna get it and it's not that hard. Hopefully I don't look weird if I do this, but I just like to start in the inner corner. Mm, I just like run it through and voila like look mm. look at the like how much prominent my eyes look in comparison to this yeah trust and I'm gonna do the same thing and does it hurt when I run it over my eyeball no like even with the traditional one, like the stick, I still do it that way. I don't know. I don't really worry about like my vision or whatever. Okay. Now that's so I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I go from technically like the corner of my eyes and I just extend it a little bit. Oh, it's nerve wracking. You guys are making me nervous. Okay, now that's done. Oh my god. Ah! So excited because sometimes my eyeliner just don't be like eyelining the way that it should. Okay, now that that is done, we're almost done, you guys. Like, so excited. Now, my favorite blush is of current House Labs. Look at the packaging. It's literally a mirror like House Labs and then the color is in a size sky Uh-huh look at it ah! Honestly I'm so proud of myself and then obviously as you can tell I've been using it and I didn't clean my brush yet, but Take a little bit of that shake it off a little bit and then look look are you looking really closely look at just the subtle pink that it just gives you she's cute okay now we're gonna go in with some highlighter yeah i realize i always try to be like oh we're gonna, we're gonna chat in this video, but I never be chatting y'all. I just be enamored by my makeup Like sometimes most of the times I just shut up and do makeup. But I know some people like to chat 
but we don't do that here we don't we don't do that here i got my little notes out and i think it was great so we're gonna go rare beauty reflect i have not finished this bottle yep here we go corner yeah 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 take a little spongy spongy just gonna blend it in okay now lips I don't know if I want to do like glitter on my inner corner so first we're gonna do the lips and then we're gonna worry about that later Whew. but isn't this such like an easy little makeup tutorial eee! okay so I, we got two options yes or yes let me stop um so we're going first with Richie from Morphe obviously the way that this is so small let me sharpen it first. I finally got a new sharpener because I literally cannot find my other one. Now, the trick is you don't want to overline. I mean, if you want to overline, that's your business, but I don't overline just because my lips are already big. Like, I don't know. Uh, I go where the line is naturally at. And you're not gonna like blend it in yet don't because it will change the whole color now what color should i do they're similar this or this color it's like purplish yeah hold up let me show you what it looks like so that you can truly see it Actually, these are actually the same color. What the fuck am I on? What am I on? Like, what the hell? Tell me this is not the same color. It's the same color. Damn, that's how you know I really am into like this color as a lip liner. It's my favorite. But we're just gonna stick with the tried and true Milani Sugar Plum. So it's looking like this. Oh my god, my lips look so crusty. Don't look too hard. But yeah, like, so it looks like that. Now, we're still not gonna blend it in. Get some Kiko Milano. This is like my lip combo that I use all the time. I don't know which number it is, but I feel like in one of my Paris diaries, I um, definitely told you guys what number it was when I brought it. And it's like a nice little pink number. Just so that when it go in, you see how it just blends in really nicely. Ooh, she's almost done. Okay. Like, look at it. Look at it. She's cute. Now, we're going to go in with the Dior... 20 mahogany you already know the vibes because it has such a mahogany color it will like really blend in nicely with the pink now look at it and this is why so you don't need to overline it because it just looks like this at the end don't talk and you just gotta press it in now when i'm looking at it should i or should i not do glitter if you want to stop here, you can stop here and obviously do mascara, but I'm trying not to talk just so that my lines could like really set in. Then I'm going to do a little tiny bit of glitter. So we're going to get a little flat brush like this. Why am I whispering? ASMR. <laughs> get a little flat brush like so. Oh! And then I always use pop McGraths. Like I feel like you see this in every video that I post about makeup. Tried and true. Um, what color should I go for? I think maybe this one. Or what if I did this one? Nah, I think I'm gonna go for this one. But let me try this one first and see. Let me zoom in so that you can properly see 
what I'm doing. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go in like that. I don't feel like it shows as much, so I think I'm gonna go with gold instead. Yeah, we're gonna go with gold. That is the color that I use the most. So, go in. And in a corner, not too crazy. Hold up. The blending of like the gold and the pink, low key, it's very subtle. And you see the difference in my eyes? Like this one automatically, you want to look at this one more because it's brighter. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I fucked up a little bit this one. It's fine. I'm just gonna make this a little straighter line. Okay, now, lastly, sometimes I don't do mascara just because I be wearing my glasses and I get tired and then I don't wanna like, fall asleep with mascara on. But as my tried and true that I really really like the Rare Beauty mascara. She is so cute, so cute. Oh my god, filming is zoomed in. It's low key so it gives me like last summer vibes because I've been watching a lot of my um old YouTube videos and I'm always like in awe. I'm just like wow, like that was a completely different person and. Yeah, sometimes i don't know i get very uninspired by my own content and i'm just like what am i even doing is my content good enough you know am i boring but i was watching like a lot of the old videos and it just made me so happy like i have become my biggest fan like, i will watch a lot of my old tiktok videos i watch a lot of my old youtube videos and i'm just so in awe and now that i've been watching it i've it's been like pushing me to like edit more and make more content because i guess that since sometimes i can be in my head a lot i tend to just downplay myself and i tend to make it seem like i don't make good stuff when in reality i do it's just that maybe i um in the moment it, i may like compare myself to other people which i need to stop because comparison is literally a disease and i am not like everybody else and everybody else is not like me like we're all very different individuals but we are working through that and i'm getting better at like not doing that and every time i need inspo for like a video or youtube or anything like that i stopped looking at other people's like stuff like i used to like when i first started doing youtube i used to look at a lot of people's like vlogs you know how they edit shit and stuff but i would always get pressure and i'd feel like oh my god like what if it's not as good as theirs but i've been reading i forgot where i read that from but there was this like quote that said like don't compare your chapter one to somebody's like chapter 20 because girl it's so different it's so freaking like different and um i forgot who it was that i was talking about with my sister oh if you watch k-dramas and you watch like reply 1980 or the bad good Mo mother um I think her name is Ra Mira. Ra. Well, let me search it up. Let me search it up. I think it's Ra or La Mira. No, it's it's Ra Mira. Like her. Basically, I've known her since Reply 1980, which is like what 2016, 2015-ish. And she was on this like variety show where she was talking about how, mind you, she's 48 or five, 48. She is, no, she's 48 years old right now. And she's super popular right now, but she's been in like that like acting industry for such a long time. And she was talking in this like variety show, I think it was Sister Slam Dunk. 
and she was talking about how her life like her hardships and how like she's been like playing side characters and like all these like little roles for so long and in her personal life um it was just very hard like she had such a hard life and such a hard start and everything seems so hopeless and i don't i forgot what exactly she said but basically the conclusion was that you see her now she's so big but you i also think about like, damn like she went through so much hardships to like get here and people usually meet their their success differently i feel like because we live in a society that is very much fast paced fast success fast money whatever like a lot of people tend to blow up when they're like super young like 20 ish and whatever like my age mates and i guess i get that pressure of okay what if i'm not doing well because you know so and so is the same age as me but and they're like doing so much better than i am but i always forget that everyone's journey and everyone's pacing of shit is so different and it's so like to yourself also what is happiness your version of happiness is so different from my version of happiness and i've been just journaling a lot like i feel like I've, throughout this video i've been talking about how like i've been journaling but i've really been journaling a lot because usually i would be like yeah like i journal here and there but it would be like little like it wasn't as intimate as the journaling that i do now the journaling that i do now you know i start with mornings with like gratitude like oh like i'm grateful for blah 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 like, i'm grateful that i woke up on time or i'm grateful that i made myself breakfast i'm grateful that like i'm being kinder to myself and then you know at night sometimes i'll do like shadow work and i'll do answering of questions like why do i get upset when people don't meet my needs or whatever like you know those type of things but yeah it just made me think that the distance in the journey is so different yeah i just think that because of our society i feel like it literally comes down to our society you guys because i don't know like obviously we all have insecurities we all have things that we're like insecure about i definitely feel like i am i have this huge like fear or like insecurity of failure like i don't want to fail and i don't want to like wake up one day like, my biggest 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 fear like more than death is it about to rain i just heard thunder but more than death i am so scared of like waking up one day when i'm like um 50 or 60 years old or whatever and realizing that i did not chase my dreams i did not even try i didn't put my all into what i believed in because obviously i cannot tell the future and i cannot see the future so how am i to know if i if i never tried so that was my little two cents um i definitely feel like yeah like the speaking has um come after the doing of the makeup which is just like insane um i definitely will get better at speaking while doing my makeup because i tend to just concentrate on the makeup itself but i do want to talk a lot more about this topic because i find it so interesting and yeah i think this is just the final look this is my everyday summer makeup and i want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video and if you guys um have been like subscribers or whatever and watched and waited for like new videos of mine um, thank you thank you thank you thank you um i always feel bad when i don't like upload anything or i don't edit anything because i'm always thinking like there are some people out there who actually do watch my stuff and i always forget that there are people who actually do follow my channel and i am eternally grateful for that and i cannot thank you enough and this month this summer it's gonna have more 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 videos maybe more talking videos i really like doing these little like sit downs and chatting videos i enjoy them a lot and yeah like be kind to yourselves be happy and bye